हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक इन अ चैप्टर नंबर टू मॉड्यूल नंबर टू थियोडोलाइट ट्रावर्स एंड टॉपिक इज अ क्लोजिंग एरर सो हियर इन अ क्लोजिंग एरर इज अ एलजीबिक सम ऑफ द लैटिट्यूड शुड बी जीरो एंड एलजीबिक सम ऑफ द डिपार्चर शुड बी जीरो सो वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द लैटिट्यूड एंड डिपार्चर इन लास्ट लेक्चर so if closed traverse is plotted according to the field measurement and at the point of the traverse not coincide exactly with the starting point means starting point and end point are not same so some of the error is generated it's called a closing error so the error in the field measurement uh, of the angle or uh, error uh, error in a measurement or also error in a measurement of the angle and distance so such error is known as a closing error so here <coughs> one of the drawing is uh, given so like uh, here starting point is a point and uh, end point is a uh, uh, after completion of the entire traverse uh, after completion of the entire traverse closing error is a uh, a so this error is a closing error so here starting point and end point are not the same and here line line is uh, some of the other di difference so line is not exactly joined with a starting point so this error is known as a closing error so here compulsory we find out the latitude and departure and from the latitude and departure we find out the total length of the closing error so this type of the problem is created when uh, measurement is uh, measurement of the angle is errored or uh, uh, measurement is not perfectly horizontal measurement is not perfectly done by the surveyor so here closing error ee is equal to a a1 so here this a a1 so e is equal to under root of sum of latitude square plus sum of departure square so sum of latitude and departure is already given in example and the direction of the closed error is given by tan theta is equal to sum of d by sum of l so here angle this angle this one angle this one is measured by the this equation sum of departure and sum of latitude so the, the sign of the sum of latitude and sum of departure will thus define and uh, here <coughs> we find out the closing error so now uh, re relative error of a closer so it is convention to express the closing error with the humor uh you, with a numerator as a unit such a error is uh, called as a relative error of a closure and a relative error of closure is a closing error divided by parameter of the traverse so here in a short form closing error e which are already discussed in a last slide sum of latitude square uh, plus sum of departure square whole under root and uh, parameter is a capital p so relative error of the closure is a uh, e by p now next is the adjustment of the angular error so how to adjust so in a closed traverse uh, the uh, sum of the interior angle is a 2n minus 4 into 90 so this equation we are already discuss uh, in a first uh, semester basic civil engineering subject or uh, elements of civil engineering subject so 2n minus 4 into 90 so here n is the number of the lines so like a to b b to c c to d d to e e to a so like uh, there are five lines so here put here n value is a 5 so interior angle is a summation of the 2 multiplied by 5 minus 4 into 90 so error is distributed equally by each angle of the traverse so like error is like a one angle or a two angle error is generated so two angle divided by number of the station 
so like number of station is a five so each and every station uh, like angle is a one degree error angle uh, so one degree divided by five station so we got a sum of the answer in a minute so error is distributed in a all the stations like in a positive error and negative error depending on a output now adjustment of a bearing so these are the important point so adjustment of the bearing so correction of the bearing of each line as an under like a correction for the first line so e divided by n so e we already discussed uh, under root of uh, sum of latitude square plus sum of departure square and uh, n is a numbers of line second uh, correction for second line so 2e divided by n correction for a third line 3e divided by n and correction for the last line n e divided by n now here start a new topic is a balancing <coughs> the traverse so the operation of applying correction to the latitude and departure is such a way that a sum of latitude is equal to zero and sum of departure is equal to zero is known as a balancing the traverse so the following rules are adopted for the balancing uh, the traverse is a bodish rule and second is a transist rule so bodish rule is also called a compass rule is generally used for the adjustment of the traverse in which the angle and distance are measured with the same uh, precision and a correction to latitude or a departure of any side so total error in a latitude or departure multiplied by length of the uh, that side and a perimeter of the traverse so like equation like this uh, cl l is a correction to latitude L is a latitude A is equal to sum of the latitude divide, uh, multiplied by length of that side and uh, perimeter of the traverse is a sum of latitude. Similarly, in a transist rule, so these rule are applied to balance the traverse when the angular measurement are more precise than the linear measurement. So here angular measurement is accurate as compared to horizontal measurement or a distance so correction of uh, latitude or departure of any side is a total error of the uh, latitude means uh, sum of the l multiplied by latitude divided by arithmetic sum of the latitude and similarly if we find out the departure so cd is equal to sum of the d multiplied by d divided by dt now next uh, topic we start is a traverse area so there are the main five methods for the traverse area first is a meridian distance method second is a double meridian distance method another name is a dmd method and uh, third one is a double parallel distance method fourth one is a departure and uh, total latitude method and uh, fifth one is a coordinate method so in a G2 examination, this question is asked like uh, analyze the types of the uh, uh, or a method of the traverse area and explain any one or two in detail or uh, uh, individually ask also ask in a as a three marks. So one by one we discuss first method is the meridian distance method. It's called a MDM method. So meridian distance M of any point in a particular distance of uh, of the point from the reference meridian and a meridian distance is also known as a longitudinal distance so like a meridian distance of a point one two three four is uh, one two three four points are uh, m1 m2 m3 and m4 so here one two three point one two three and four all the four points are at a center of the line and <coughs> distance this one is m2 uh, sorry m1 m2 m3 and m4 so this four point is a distance m1 m2 m3 and m4 so in a figure if the point one is uh, the midpoint of the line ab the meridian distance of a ab line will be m1 so here ab line and the meridian distance is a m1 
now in a figure a b line b c line c d line and d a line are d1 d2 d3 and d4 respectively so here this one is a d1 and for a two point this one is a d2 for a three point this one is a d3 and for a four point is a d4 it's a departure and similarly in a latitude so this one l1 these two l2 sorry l4 l2 and l3 now m1 meridian distance m1 is a d1 divided by 2 so m1 so this distance is a d1 divided by 2 means half of the d1 now meridian distance for a 2 m2 is equal to m1 means this portion plus d1 divided by 2 plus d2 divided by 2 clear so this distance is the m2 is a m1 plus d2 d1 divided by 2 plus d2 divided by 2 similarly m3 is a m2 plus d2 divided by 2 minus d3 divided by 2 so we got the this distance m3 similarly m4 is a <coughs> m3 this distance minus d3 divided by 2 minus d4 divided by 2 so we got uh, we reach this point and we got the answer of for the marine distance for m4 now area of the abcd can be written as a capital a is equal to area ccbb this one c uh, c c d d and uh, minus uh, d a d and minus b a b so area is equal to m2 l2 plus m3 l3 minus m4 l4 minus m1 l1 so these are the area for a particular uh, traverse now second method is a double meridian distance method it's also called a dmd method so in a double meridian distance is the twice of the meridian distance and uh, dmd is uh, represented by the cap, uh, letter capital m so here similarly m1 is uh, is equal to 2m1 and uh, we are already discussed in a uh, last slide m1 is equal to d1 by 2 so 2 times d1 by 2 is a uh, d1 similarly m2 is a uh, 2 times m2 is equal to this equation we are already dis uh, discussed so m1 plus d d1 by 2 plus d2 by 2 so m1 here 2m1 is equal to d1 so m1 is a d1 by 2 so here put the m1 value at here d1 by 2 now multiply entire section with 2 so 2 d we got the answer 2 d1 plus d2 so m2 is equal to m1 plus d1 plus d2 because here d1 d1 plus d1 is a 2 d1 so d1 is m1 plus d1 plus d2 similarly m3 and m4 clear so here area of the traverse abcd is given by the a is equal to 1 by 2 bb plus cc in multiply by bc and 1 by 2 cc plus d uh, dd cd minus 1 by 2 dd ad minus 1 by 2 bb ab now bb plus cc is equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 so d1 is already uh, discussed is a1 uh, sorry m1 and uh, d2 is as it is and d3 is as it is now m2 is a summation of the all the values we got the m2 similarly cc plus uh, dd is a m3 and uh, db is a m4 and bd is a m1 now put all the values in a above equation so we got this answer so area is a for a double departure method is a area is a summation of the 
एम एल इज अ वन बाय टू समेशन ऑफ दी एम एल नाउ नेक्स्ट मैथड इज अ डबल पैरल डिस्टेंस मैथड सो द पैरल डिस्टेंस ऑफ अ लाइन इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ इट्स मिड पॉइंट फ्रॉम द रेफरेंस पैरल मेजर एट राइट एंगल टू द रेफरेंस पैरल एंड डी पी डी मैथड ट्वाइस द पैरल डिस्टेंस सो द एरिया ऑफ ट्रेवल्स कैन बी ऑप्टेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ डी पी डी बाय रिप्लेसिंग एम एंड एल बाय पी एन डी सो टू ए इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ द P multiply by d, where P is a double parallel distance and d is a departure. Now uh, another fourth method is a departure and total latitude method. So here one of the rule is that total latitude of a point is equal to the algebraic sum of the latitude and uh, of a preceding station of a latitude of a preceding line. So here total latitude of a station A B C D are a एल जीरो डैस माइनस एल वन माइनस एल टू माइनस एल थ्री नाउ एरिया ऑफ द टावर्स ए बी सी डी कॉम्पिटेड एज अ एरिया ऑफ ए बी ए सो ए बी ए Similarly, B B C C. Similarly, D D C C and uh, area of D A D. So, when we area is measured with a latitude, so this type of the equation we is created. So minus L one uh, minus L one minus L two minus L two plus L three and L three. So here. <coughs> Departure is in the form the d1, d2, d3, and minus d4. <coughs> Now fifth method is a coordinate method. So in this method, independent coordinate of the points are to be used in the computation of the area. So better than the DMG method. So here two coordinates are there x, y in uh, all the points and Area of the trapezoidal area is a one by two x y minus x one plus y y plus y one. Similarly, area is equal to one by two x y minus x one y y minus ah uh, plus y one plus uh, x four minus x five y four plus y five plus uh, x three minus x four y three plus y four minus one by two x two minus x one Y two plus y one minus one by two x three minus x two y three plus y two. Now solve the entire equation and we got the answer like this. <coughs> so here, uh, in a simple terms, so write the x one x two x three x four at upper side and y one y two y three at a lower side. And the starting point and end point are similar. So a one is equal to one by two. Uh, in the bracket x one plus y two. Uh, uh, sorry, x one into y two plus x two uh, into y three plus x three y four plus x four y five plus x five y one. Now in a reverse direction minus uh, x one y five. Uh, minus uh, x five uh, x five uh, y four minus x four y three minus x three y two minus x two y one. So these are the simple method to solve this uh, coordinate method problem. Now uh, let's start a uh, different examples. <clears throat> now.
Now example number one, the latitude and departure of the line of a closed towers are given below, calculate the area of the towers. So here, north, south, east, west direction is already given and uh, in a next lecture we discuss or uh, start uh, this type of the example. Uh, so here this type of the example ask in a G2 in a 4 marks. So in a next lecture we start a example like uh, latitude and departure example and uh, we calculate the closed traverse. Thank you.